Okay, but in today's video, we'll be talking about one amazing plant. We have been talking about common plants. We have been talking about common plants in Africa. You know, we are Africans. We need to come back to our heritage. We need to come back to our culture. We need to come back to our traditions. We need to come back to our medicine. So if you are new on this channel, please make sure you subscribe to this channel for notification. Make sure you share with friends and family. Don't be selfish. It's good to share knowledge like this to friends and family. Don't be selfish with your knowledge. That's why we come out with organize this platform so we can reach out to everybody. We can reach out to Africans so we can reintroduce nature back to Africa. We can be healthy. We can be stronger. We can be energetic as we were before as original African man. So please make sure you like the video. Make sure you drop a comment below at the comment section. But in today's video, we will be talking about this amazing plan. We have been talking about good plants. We have been talking about other plants. But in today's video, we're talking about this common plant we call white tomatoes. They grow well here in Africa. If you go to Asia, you go to China, India, Malaysia, North America, you realize that they cultivate this plant. They even use the berries to produce uh, fruits and other beverages in, brevet in the, the beverage industry. Now, they use the same fruit to produce other things. But here in Africa, we neglect it because why? We don't want to put it into... Uh, consideration and we don't want to apply the knowledge on natural plants. That's the reason why Repalm Africa is here to reintroduce nature to an African man. But uh, in today's video, we will not be talking about the roots, we will be talking about the fruit, which is the berries whereby the plant produces. I want to uproot this one so that I will show you the actual berries that the plant is uh, producing because we are blessed with nature, we are blessed with plenty. But we hunger in the means of plenty. Why? Because we run away from the truth. We switch over to European and American cultures. That's why you see there are, there are more strange illnesses here in Africa. More strange diseases, more strange viruses. Why? Because we don't want to embrace our own. We switch over to others. So that's why we are here to reintroduce our own to you guys. So please. Keep on watching the video, keep on watching to the end. You can look at, as I've uprooted, you can see it is still fresh, it is still growing. You can see the berries here, the yellow berries, they are growing. When the berries grow mature, when you open it, you'll see it will be very big and it will be yellow rich inside. I'll put tell my editor to put the berries on the screen so that you can understand what I'm talking about. You can look at the plant, you'll see some yellow flowers. The flowers are the main berries. At the long run, You'll see that the stage one, it will be the small berries. This is the yellow flower that is growing. You realize that the berries will start maturing. From this stage, it will come to this other stage. From this other stage, once it comes to this stage, it is maturing. Then it will turn into brown. That is mature. Then the fruit inside is going to be yellow in color. That is the mature fruit we are in search of. You want to take care of kidney stones. Anybody with kidney problems, you want to detoxify kidney stones. You want to clean out kidney problem. You have been suffering from kidney problem for a long time. It is chronic. You have been suffering from it. You have gone to the diagnosis. The diagnosis that you have kidney problem. You have been looking for medication up and down. Why white tomatoes is growing behind your home. And this is the part four on the same white tomatoes on how to take care of kidney stones. And you know, kidney stones you see here, it can be caused by the food we consume, which is our lifestyle. It can be caused by our environment. Maybe you are living in an industrial environment whereby the chemicals they produce there, they produce different, different things in that um, uh, um, industrial environment. It can affect your kidney. Maybe you used to drink alcohol. So if you want to take care of kidney stone, you have to stay away from alcohol. If you don't want to have kidney stone, you have to stay away from alcohol. Drinking a lot of alcohol can cause you kidney problem. Taking a lot of sweet drinks, this uh, pr processed drinks and processed food can cause you kidney problem. Anybody with high cholesterol can cause you kidney problems. All these factors I just mentioned below, when you avoid them, use the berries of this plant the way I want to explain here. Within three months, you have a testimony to talk about kidney stones. Anybody with kidney problem, or maybe you are not even sick, but maybe you have been consuming food that you know that that food does not really match your, your genital constitution. That food, you want to use the berries to detoxify. And then smoking as well can cause you kidney problems. So if you have kidney stones, you have kidney problems, you have kidney failure, you are going to use the berries of white tomatoes to take care of that problem. 
the berries of white tomatoes, and we advise that before you use white tomatoes, you have to look around the environment because here in Africa we don't cultivate it. Maybe you might went where they, are, they spray chemicals, you go and harvest. So you have to look that environment very carefully. When you harvest it, make sure every morning you get at least 10 fruits of the white tomatoes. The mature one, the ripe one, which is the yellow one, I'll tell my editor to put it on the screen. You get 10 fruits of the yellow white tomatoes. When you get 10 fruits, you are going to blend it. If you have a blender at all, you have one. If you don't have a blender, you can grind it or you can pound it. It depends what you have around. Or you get a very clean way you are grinding anything. The local grinding, we know African. Or you get a where you pound fufu, or where you pound banku, or where you pound uh, fufu. Uh -huh. You get to, you pound the 10 fruit inside. Then when you pound the 10 fruit, you filter it. You get the fresh gel that you filter, the fresh liquid from the 10 fruits of white tomatoes. Then you drink it in the morning with an empty stomach to detoxify your kidney, to detoxify the kidney. When you drink it in the morning, you drink it in the evening for seven days, you stop it. After three months, you repeat it. It means you don't have kidney problem. You just take it for seven days, and then you stop it. After three months, you repeat it. Ten fruit in the morning, ten fruit in the evening. But if you are already suffering from the kidney problem, the kidney have already failed, you have to get at least ten to fifteen fruits. Because maybe some places you can get the small, small ones, so at least you get fifteen fruits of the white tomatoes if you get 15 fruits of the white tomatoes you blend it or you pound it you filter it you are going to blend it together with the seed we need the seed inside don't remove the seed no blend it together with the seed because you look at the white tomatoes here when you open it like this you see there are many seeds you can get the cc we need the white tomatoes together with the seed so get the white tomatoes with the seed. You blend it together, the ripe one. When you blend it, you drink in the morning. In the evening, you blend it, you drink. But before you drink, if you have kidney problem, before you drink it, you have to warm it before you drink it. Take it morning, night, morning, night. Continue taking it for three months. Three months, which is 90 days. After 90 days, testimony, kidney stone, kidney failure, kidney problem, it will leave you in peace. With what? White tomatoes. We are blessed, with every African. We should come back to culture. I can't want to shoot now in here. I can't want to shoot now in here. That's the reason why we say we should come back to nature, we should come back to our own, we should come back to culture, we should come back to heritage. Because these are the things that are going to make us healthy. A healthy man is a wealthy man. Stay away from those things I mentioned below in order to treat kidney problems. And once you are consuming this plant, take fruit, more fruit, and take more vegetables. Do that and do exercise. Once you do those things I just mentioned, three months maximum, you will be free from kidney failure, you will be free from kidney stones. Keep on watching our, uh, our, our videos. Keep on supporting our channel as you have been doing. Please share the video to friends and family. Share, 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 share. Don't be selfish. Share. You, God will bless you when you share. Once you share your knowledge, share what you have with friends and family, God will keep on multiplying your blessing. That's the reason why I'm sharing this good news to you. So please click up the notification button, subscribe to our channel, so that when we drop a video, you can always be notified. Please like the video and drop a comment what you think about African medicines, what you think about African culture, what you think about African tradition. This is Ripam Africa. This is Ripam Ghana. Keep on watching. Stay tuned.